The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. The Kevin Shorey Show, coming to you from the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today's special guest, Pastor Wendell Connie, Evangelist Donald Henson, special music by Carrie Jo Miller and Ricky Jr. And now, here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Yay! Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show today. Great program today. Carrie Joe Miller and what's his name? Ricky Jr. Ricky Jr. is here. I love this. This is dear to my heart. I was saved in a kid's crusade by a ventriloquist Indian chief. <laughs> Long story. But Carrie Joe Miller is here today. We have a couple of ministers of the gospel, the pastor of the Hamilton Dream Center, uh, Wendell uh, Conning is here today with one end and it confuses me every time. But uh, <laughs> Also, evangelist uh, Donald Henson is back. So it's a great program today. Uh, April is also uh, Scrabble Day. There's a Scrabble Day because it was the month that Scrabble was invented. 1938, Hasbro had an inventor by the name of, not kidding, Alfred Butts. Anyway... Mr. Butts in, invented the Scrabble, Scrabble game for Hasbro. Now, listen, this is why it's important to me. Scrabble was actually the um, game, first game, board game my wife and I played before we were married. We decided to play a game. It was one of our dates. And it just so, for so, some reason, every word was love, marriage, wedding, every, every word we made in Scrabble. We knew it was a sign from God right then and there. And so 11 years later, I married. It was really a foggy day today in Branson, and so there's extra fog. We have our, for those that watch on Roku Live, you see this quite often, but today especially, it seems, does it seem a little extra foggy in here? Our fog lifters, are you, are you lifting the fog? We have uh, Justin and Mitchell <laughs> moving the fog. I love this. Yes, okay, okay, now you're blowing me away. All right, all right, thank you. And today we're also gone with the wind, was it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, this is very important. I want to share this before Carrie Jo Miller comes and performs, but uh, Neo Relief is just shaking everybody up. They can't believe the powerful strength of Neo Relief. This is made with no synthetics or chemicals. It's all natural, and it relieve you from everything from a headache to arthritis pain in your legs. We've had people pain in their feet disappear, uh, their ankles, uh, their back. This will help you. Try this out. I used to say some commercial, try it, you'll like it. I don't know, I believe that. And this is new technology. A friend of mine, Dan Kaline, uh, has put this together, a biochemist, and it's called Neo Relief. We'll send it to you today, $25 or more to, as a donation to our ministry. We'll give you this to say thank you. If you'd like three bottles, it's three, four, $60. That's a great saving. So you can pass on the blessing to other people. Uh, put away the pills. Put away those kind of uh, muscle relievers that... Uh, smell, you know, and, and uh, have other things that have other side effects. There's no side effects, there's no smell, and it will help you. And now I want to introduce, for the first time on the Kevin Shore Show, I know you're going to enjoy this. Here is Carrie Joe Miller. Give him a nice hand today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm not Carrie, though. I'm Ricky. <laughs> We're going to sing a song, and it's called Freedom Song. In fact, I wrote it in 2003. And it went, I just want you to know, it just went gold. Thanks to a can of street paint. Well, but well, I hope you enjoy this song. I did write it to uh, dedicate it to all the soldiers and the veterans out there. So I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. I love this country, that's why I'll go Now I wear the green all day long I will always sing this freedom song For you all hide all through the night Your freedom now begins to the very end 
Ricky Jr., Ricky, little Ricky, Ricky Jr. Ricky Jr. Have him back on again. Y'all get your Roku box or get a TV. Now TVs come with the Roku in it, so you can watch us live every morning, and uh, you can watch past shows, and you can watch future shows that are coming up. We've got different. Uh, uh, J.T. Guinan, who was on the program yesterday, uh, Jerry Bernard, a great pastor down in Florida, uh, Ron Childress, uh, Paul Hegstrom, all of these are going to have programs on our, our Roku network, which is WGAN, which stands for... We got a network, and so we do, to God be the glory. Also, uh, we'll have health programs, we'll have sports programs, we'll have perspective, a Christian perspective on sports and movies and entertainment, and so you want to start joining and watching, go to the WGN TV on Roku. We are so honored to have some men of God here today. Wendell Conning is back with us from Hamilton Dream Center, all the way from Hamilton, Ohio. Would you welcome Wendell? And we had him on the program, you know, basically when we have ministers on the program for the first time, you know, it's like, let's see how they do and see how they believe and see, you know, well, we, we want to embrace everybody from all different faiths. But uh, I remember when Brother Henson came on, okay, let's see how this goes, you know. First of all, he's from Arkansas, no offense, Arkansas, but you know. <laughs> It's a Missouri joke, you forget about it. It's not even funny. But, uh, but uh, he's back, and I'm so glad he's back because he's on fire for God and just telling people about the Lord everywhere he goes. He has a great ministry of healing and just miracles and preaching the word of God, people being saved and delivered. Would you welcome Donald Henson back to yeah. Evangelist. And these, both these guys are trying to let people know that the word of God is true, that God wants to save you, God wants to heal you, God wants to be real in your life and take you through eternity, forever. Yes. You know, I, I, my message as an evangelist was always, hell was not meant for us. Hell was not built for us. It was built for the devil and the fallen angels and the demons. It's not meant for us. We were, heaven was made for us. 
and, and to be with God forever and ever created in his image. And I'm going to just preach all day. So stop me and jump in <laughs> as you feel it, brother. Uh, brother Henson, you, you go around telling people the true gospel, which is the good news. Uh -huh. It's good news. Yeah. I, I get tired of uh, hearing about the bad news because it seems like now there's a, a Christian uh, a remnant of people who get on media and it feel like it's their job to tell mm -hmm. who's bad and what's happening that's horrible in Christianity. Yeah. But I don't think that's our job, right? No. I know. What's your job as an evangelist? It's to win souls. That's it. Yes. To, to tell them the truth of the good news of uh -huh. Jesus Christ. Where have you been lately? What's been happening? And I've been down in Boonville, Arkansas at the Assembly of God and seen who got saved down there. Yes, sir. Praise Amen. Praise God. And, and I was praying about this service today and the Lord spoke to me about John chapter 4, where Jesus met the woman at the well. Come on now. And today he wants to give somebody a drink of living water that don't know him today. You know, he, first thing he said to this woman, he said, give me a drink. You know, and I got to thinking about that. The Lord is required in something out of us. He wants us to give him something. That's it. Yeah. We expounded on that yesterday. We were saying God uh -huh. doesn't bless on credit. We have to make that first move. Yes. And that's what the Lord began to speak to me. He said, when we begin to give him something, then he begins to give us something. Mm, when the praises go up, then the blessings begin to come yes, down. Yes, yes. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost in come this on place now. this morning. Come on. Somebody's watching now. You Somebody's go ahead lost and this morning that don't know Jesus. You may be an alcoholic. I used to be an alcoholic. But one trip to an altar, mm. just one trip, just one trip, is all it took. You're just one step this morning away from Jesus Christ. All you've got to do is just ask Him to come into your heart and forgive you of all your sins and to cleanse you. And He will. He's right there. He's just as close as your breath is to you mm -hmm. this morning. And He loves you with an everlasting love. Sir. And then he told that little woman at the wheel, he said, if thou would have asked of me, he said, I would have given you that living water. Yes. Whew, my. Somebody wants to ask right now. Yeah. But Henson, lead him in a sinner's prayer right now. Come on. Come on, just pray. Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. Yes, Lord. Wash me in your blood. Wash me in your blood. I accept you as my Lord, and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. And I choose to serve you. Life's a choice. The Bible said, choose you this day whom you will serve. Well, praise God. Yes. If you prayed that prayer today, Jesus, come into your heart. Praise God. Start living for him. Read your Bible. Get you a Bible and start reading the Bible. Yes. Start in the New Testament. Praise God and start reading the Bible. And if you don't understand it, a lot of people tell me, well, we just don't understand it. That's okay. Just keep reading it. That's right. Yeah. Praise God. And God will reveal it to you as you right. just keep reading it. Praise God. Yeah. Start in John. Ooh, John's a good yes. place to start. In the beginning That's it. was the Word. And that'll just tell uh, you the whole mission of Jesus and the whole the, yes. the deity and the Godhead of Jesus as, as part of the Trinity. I just thank thankful, so thankful yes. Jesus came into my life. And I'm so thankful what he can do for you if you'll give him a try and mm -hmm. you'll bless him. Uh, man, you're seeing that. Where are you heading to next? Where can people find you if they're watching this? Where then? Now this 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 airs in the middle of April. So where are you going to be at the end of April or any? Do you uh, have that booked up yet? I'm not right now. Well, I'm pastors, get, get on direction. the phone and call them. How do they find yes. you? Donald Henson. Donald Henson, eight seven zero. Come on. Four one six, eight three six six. Say it one more time, and we'll make sure we'll put it on the screen too. Eight seven zero. Eight seven zero. Four one six. All right. Eight three six six. Now, pastors, don't call unless you want revival. Don't yes. call unless you want to win souls. Amen. Uh, I believe with all my heart that it's not time to play. Uh -huh. there, there's enough, plenty of churches that that can help nurture and give milk and meat to the saints. That's fine. But a ma man, one of your missions as your church should be a revival center that wins souls. It should be a salvation station. Uh -huh. And when I think of salvation stations, I think of a place I love to go and frequent with our ministry with Legacy Ministries. We go to Hamilton Dream Center. My dream is the dream, you know, if there was a dream that Jesus had, he said, my dream is they all would become one. Yes. And that we all come one into the body of Christ. And uh, 
Uh, what do you see happening at the Dream Center? Because this is a salvation station. This is a man who doesn't want to just have, he has a lot of great activities. He feeds the hungry. He, he, he has a lot of youth that come. They, they do, I'm doing all your advertising, brother, but tell them, tell them what they find at the Dream Center and why you do what you do. What is your heartbeat? Because I know. Well, uh, the Dream Center, if you're, if you're not familiar, there's almost 130, 140 Dream Centers across the country. It's true. They started out in L.A. in 94. And uh, we Matthew believe Barnett. that Matthew Barnett, correct. And we, uh, we are part of, Joyce Myers has one, and they're almost in every city. And all of them are a little different in their own way. And, and Hamilton, you know, is an old, you know, steel mill, paper mill city that's all, you know, industry is gone, and it's just depression, a lot of drugs, a lot of, you know, which is in many cities. And uh, our goal is to bring in hope. And one of the biggest issues is we see is a lot of children, young people, they're following in the paths of the brothers and sisters, siblings, and, and uh, their, their actual parents. And, and our goal is to do a paradigm shift, a mind shift yeah. that, that Jesus is Lord, that, you know, that the government don't owe you, the church don't owe you, that you can cry out to the Lord and, and you shall be saved. And you know, I was thinking about in John 4 when you're talking about that, you know, that he said that you worship in spirit and in truth. And one of the things we love to do is worship the Lord. We love to bring him worship. And many people know that worship, but the truth is the word of God. And people need the word of God. So we teach that in many levels. We bust in roughly 150 uh, children, um, anywhere from 60 to 80 youth. Mm. Every Wednesday, we feed them and uh, just pour in God's word, teach them. We don't advertise. We actually, um, you know, let the kids promote themselves. And, um, yeah. you know, and we, um, on Sunday mornings, we feed them on Sunday mornings and just, just pour into them. We do a thing called adopt a block. We go out on Saturday mornings I love and go that. to, go to hotels, uh, that you would even let your dog stay. And, um, and there's people that it, it's, it's a, it's a sad situation. And so many people, um, uh, we get to minister to hit the streets, whatever it takes and, uh, just pour into them and teach them God's word. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. God's word tells us, I was thinking of Psalm 139, and just if people could understand, you know, because they get in, you said there's that cycle of defeat that they're already automatically from their, their mom and dad and maybe even their grandparents, and, and uh, you're trying to break that cycle of defeat. Absolutely. And that's what the enemy has for people. It says that you can't escape his presence, that he's always there, that you were formed in Psalm 139, 13, for you were formed, your inward parts, everything formed in your mother's womb by him. So I will praise him for you were fearfully and wonderfully made. He has a plan for your life from the beginning of time as you were formed in your mother's womb. Jeremiah says that he knows the plans he has for you. And they're good things, but they, they don't feel that. They don't know that because all they know is the destruction and the decay around them. And you snatched them out and you pulled them out. And I love that. That's what an evangelist does. That's what a pastor does. These are two of the gifts that are given to the church for the building up of the church. That's what Ephesians tells us in chapter four. And it's so important that we help our evangelists. We help our pastors. I'm sure you have a two or three millionaires that just takes care of everything for you. And so uh, total money, you don't have any yeah, problems. I always tell people we're the only church that we actually kick the adults out on Wednesday nights. They go to yeah. our class because they, we, we need our sanctuary for children's church. And, and, our, and, and on Wednesday night, on average, it's anywhere from four to $500. It costs us to have church on Wednesday yeah, nights. Yeah, so if they can help, how do they find you? Uh, they can uh, reach us on our website, Dream Center Hamilton dot org and we do have a push pay on there that they can give to Ooh, come on and uh we just we Easy. just really believe that uh god's doing a great thing in the he ministry. is Amen. and god will i i just wish the world could understand that's why i want to do this program every day that's why i want to get on every network i can possibly get come on abc nbc cbs and fox too come on not just christian networks i want to get out there and tell people because every Everybody, everybody, from the worst sinner, the murderer, uh, uh, to, the, to the homosexual, God has a better plan for you. It's not that we hate you. It's not that we want to condemn you. We want to judge you. No, because we have a better way for you than what you're experiencing. Because if you're honest with yourself, you're in depression, you're in and out of anxiety, you're, you're living in fear and shame and guilt, and guess who can remove that? Oh, I'm getting up and preaching right now. Come on now. Who can remove that? Right. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes. What can make me whole? What can make me fully satisfied in my life, in this short life that I have here? And then I can not only be given satisfaction in this life and fulfillment, but I can live eternally. Oh, come on, come on. Accept him today. Come on, give Jesus praise. Pastor, 
You've been with me now for a couple days. Thank you so much for being here. And Brother Hanson, come back anytime. Come on and just let loose. I'm just, I know that we're going to get some calls. Some people have really accepted God and found out because there is real life in Jesus Christ. You got any final words here before? I just, I just want to tell you, and I said it yesterday, you know, uh, it, uh, Christian television is so important. And uh, that my whole family was saved through Christian television. And, mm. and, and uh, people put it down, and you know, even Christians put it down. And I'm, I'm amazed at that, we, that we beat each other up. This, this ministry is so important. Uh, somebody's watching today. Somebody may watch a, 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 an archive at 4 o'clock in the morning and, and just be so beat up and so empty. And they need God, and they'll turn it to the station. They may not pick up their Bible, but they'll, they'll turn on the TV. You know, show. That's right. I don't always say this very often, but I... I um... If it wasn't for Christian television, I'm not sure where our family would be in the time. That man, I'm trying to say this without crying. Everybody knows I'm a crier. Actually, I don't cry. My eyes just leak. Um, uh, when my mom and dad were in divorce and mom was left alone with the three of us, she, in the toughest times of her life, and uh, she's given this testimony on t TBN, and uh, you know, I'm not even on TBN, but maybe we can fix that. I don't know. But I thank God for TV and I thank God for Christian television because in the time where she thought about giving up and ending it all, she turned on the television at two in the morning and there was a minister of the gospel saying, come on, God's got a great plan for your life. It's not the time for giving up and ending it all. It's time for holding on and being strong. I even wrote a song about it called Keep Holding On, which my CDs sell like hotcakes. As soon as they sell like CDs, it'd be awesome. But um, <laughs> for real, I thank you for saying that. That's why we're on today. That's why all of these networks are on, and I hope that all of them will always keep to the fact that it's Jesus, the answer for the world today. Above him, there's no other. He is the way. Anyway, thank you again for coming. Would you thank these great men of God for being on here? Tomorrow we'll have my dear friends, uh, Jeff and April Nye Davis, but, and our good friend Barbara Fairchild's coming back. I love Barbara. Come on now. Well, we're all going to get together in a great place called heaven. Until then, we'll try to practice heaven as much as we can, like this opportunity for you. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. This is Kevin Shorey, and I'd like to extend a personal invitation for you to join me on our first annual Family of Friends cruise to Alaska. August 27th through September 3rd, 2016. I appreciate all the support you've given me over the years, and what better way to say thanks than to take a vacation and spend some time together. And what makes this cruise extra special, it's that it's an incredible destination, Alaska. We'll leave Seattle, Washington for seven days and seven nights on the beautiful Crown Princess and explore the many adventures Alaska has to offer. Juno. Alaska's capital city, Skagway, Ketchikan, Alaska's first city, Victoria, British Columbia, and a special bonus you're going to love, a nine-hour scenic cruise of gorgeous Glacier Bay. Cruising is an incredible vacation value because everything's included. Your stateroom with comfortable king-size beds. Gourmet food around the clock with 24-hour complimentary room service. Mm -mm. Lots of activities and entertainment on board ship. And the option to just relax and enjoy the view, explore a variety of incredible places, or both. In addition to all that, I'm planning special activities just for you that won't be available to anyone else on the ship. It's important to note that you must book your reservation through Paradise Travel to be a part of our special group. And that's easy to do. Just go to kevinchory.com and click on the special Family of Friends Cruise link. There you'll find all the information you'll need to make your reservation. Don't miss the boat. Treat yourself, your friends, and family to a vacation of a lifetime in Alaska, where you'll enjoy great gospel music, inspirational teaching, preaching, and a healing service, delicious food, incredible scenery, and wildlife and memories that will last a lifetime. That's the Kevin Shorey Family of Friends Cruise to Alaska, August 27th through September 3rd, 2016. Come and join all the fun. We're gonna have a blast. Our family struggled hard 
keep us children free Dying on the battlefield In the face of the enemy Much blood was lost in the fight raged on The days and nights were long They deserve our loyalty For keeping us from home part of our live studio audience as we welcome special guest co-host Lulu Roman this Tuesday through Thursday April 19th through 21st at 10 a.m. The preceding program was brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends.